So there will be no uh, service tonight because we're going to take our time and have a great lunch out in the hall. And uh, don't want to pull people back after that. Just go home and relax. Enjoy times with family. You visit another church just this Sunday night if you want to. Um, let me ask you, I talked with uh, Frank Goble yesterday. And Bonnie had an especially hard day, and, and they're going through a real hard time. So please remember Frank Goble and Bonnie, his wife, in your prayers. He said that she needs 24-7 vigilant care now because uh, uh, someone else was watching. He was in the other room. Before he knew it, she made it out to the street. And he was real nervous about that. So please remember them. Um, we've got, uh, I'll be contacting the deacons. I'll send you a message. We've got a. Uh, Brother Silas is being set aside. We're going to examine him soon. I'll be sending you a message. Just be looking for that, uh, friends, uh, so we can get that going, and we'll bring that back before the church when we're done. I'll need to mention uh, out in the hall, if anyone has any, I want to say, in good shape high chairs, one you want to donate, or if you feel compelled, you want to buy a new one. The ones we have out there, the tables don't latch good, and I forgot last dinner someone showed me, and they were scared their baby might fall out. So if you do use ones out there, just use caution if you've got a young child with you. And if we could get two or three uh, better high chairs, that would be good. If some of you have kids who have kids and those kids are grown and don't need them, we could get some donations. That would be good. I wanted to mention that. Um, uh, wasn't it good to be here, friends? Oh, and aren't you glad that you, you're, you've been, uh, you can be called wise if you've uh, put your faith in Jesus and you, have, or you are clothed in the righteousness of Christ, the wedding garments. Aren't you glad for that? Amen. And who here will, will commit to pray for? If there's anyone, and I know in a crowd this big, I'd almost promise you there's a handful of people who are about to go home unprepared with this hard deadline staring them straight in the face. Who here will commit to pray for those folks who are about to leave in that condition? I say that, friends, and I say not to trouble you, but to let you know that you are important in God's eyes, you are important in our eyes. We want you to know God the way we know Him and be clothed in the wedding garments before it's everlasting too late. So we'll be praying about that. Other prayer requests you want to share before we pray? Ms. Kim? For Betty and her family. Ms. Betty called up here, and uh, they've got one issue under control for Abby, but there's another one they're looking at. They may have to remove her gallbladder. They're not sure. So do remember Miss Abby in your prayers. Miss Betty's been spending a ton of time on the road going back and forth between here and Mayo. And her daughter Brandy is scheduled for back surgery soon. So remember all of that. Good to see Miss Reed and Miss Maggie with us. We love you guys. So glad you could be here. We will continue to pray for your strength and help. Someone else for the Rob. We'll pray for your friend. We will, Brother Rob. Miss Beth? Uh, Miss Jenny called me this morning and she said that she was rushed into the hospital in the middle of the night with a racing heart. Hmm. The, 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 the church prayed for her. We will pray for her. Someone else, and Brother Chuck as well. Yes, Miss Jojo. Uh, Robbie called last night and said to tell his church that he's traveling. He's the only reason he's not here. All right, we miss him. We'll be praying for him. Some, you will please continue to remember uh, Ron Sprague, and please continue to remember Connie Goodman's dad, Charlie, in prayer. Ms. Kim? And also for Anna and her daughters, they travel back to... Anna Jean and Miss Patty. I understand surgery went pretty well. Uh, I talked briefly to Miss Anna Jean, but please continue to pray for that family. Somebody else? Ron John. Yes, Dave. Uh, Lloyd Salmon called this morning. His wife, Dolly, is not doing good from that stroke. She's still in the hospital. Mm -hmm. they put her on her ventilator, so he asked us to please remember her. We will pray. We will pray. Back here, Miss Jan. My sister still, and my friend Miss Mabel. Miss Jan's sister and friend, we will Miss Brenda. Phyllis, so we will pray. We'll pray. Miss Julie, did you have a request? No. Anyone else? Richard. Yes, Miss uh, Jackie. Please pray for my great grandbaby. Yes, we will pray for that little girl. We do pray for her. Every time I pray for Jacob, she comes right to my mind. I pray for her. Miss Match? I had a call uh, while I was gone to Florida. One of my friends that I work with most of my life as a waitress at Hobbs fell down the stairs, has, had gone into a, they had to put a plate in her head, and she's on a ventilator, and feeding tubes. 
and everything. So she needs prayers that she'll come back. We will, things will be good for her. We will pray. I appreciate your continued prayers for Jacob. Yes. Uh, very, very much. All those with an unspoken request, you should have raise your hand. In lieu of coming to the altar, since we have a, a homecoming and, and we want to get the blessing prayer in here, I want to ask Brother Silas if he would just pray over all these requests for us, and we will have an altar of prayer next Sunday. I promise you pray over these requests, Brother Silas, as well as bless the food for us, please. Go ahead, Brother. Thank you. 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 Amen. I hope you can stay for lunch and we'll see you in the hall. There's a day to